A widespread increase in sales tax has been announced barring agriculture sector. Jalalita's government ups tax by a huge margin. Jalalita attempts to outdo the DMK with a brand new health insurance scheme. It covers expenses up to 4 lakhs and includes 950 treatments. One more film producer lodges a complaint against the COO of Sun Pictures alleges that he was threatened to pay crores for distribution rights. The Madras High Court asked the CBI the grounds on which the city's commissioner claimed there were no external injuries on Satish Kumar's body. Superstar Rajni Kant is likely to return to Chennai on Wednesday after being discharged from a Singapore hospital last month. The state-owned Tasmac now has a new chief. Apoorva Varma takes over as the managing director. And after occupying all of the telly time, the 2G scam moves to the silver screen. A journalist turns director with this venture. Hello and welcome to the Late Night News on NDTV Hindu. Let's also bring you the national headlines at this hour. 12 to 13 ministers likely to be sworn in tomorrow evening in a minor, minor uh, rejig. Sources tell NDTV the Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi put the final touches. Questions being asked of who is in charge of railways, with over 100 people being killed in three mishaps in a week. Five-year-old Roshan survived, but her parents are missing. NDTV speaks to the man helping the child. After the solicitor general afford, uh, offered to resign over a private lawyer being appointed, the Supreme Court refuses to hear the petition against Kapil Sibyl. The Supreme Court asks the Delhi police to get ready with CCTV footage of Ramdev's camp that was dispersed at Ramlila Maidan. And B samples of two more athletes test positive could be handed a two-year ban. Meanwhile, the doping agency conducts a surprise raise in Bangalore. In news just coming to you at this hour, the Tamil Nadu government has said that the VAT or the value added tax on commodities has been increased from 4% to 5%. However, the state government has exempted agricultural implements, in fact, uh, like uh, fertilizers, insecticides from a uh, VAT. But commodities which are currently charged 12.5%, VAT will be charged 14.5%. Instead, textile products which were exempted earlier will be brought under 5% tax. However, hank yarn and handloom fabrics will be exempted. Edible oil sellers with a turnover of uh, 5 crore rupees will be brought under the tax bracket. Tobacco products are brought under heavy tax net of 20%. DVDs, LCD panels, mobile phones, iPods, iPhones are to be brought under the 14.5% tax. This will bring 3,900 crore rupees additional review, revenue to the state. Now, Chief Minister Jayalalitha today announced that a 4 lakh rupee public insurance health scheme, a project that will benefit the people of Tamil Nadu, will be launched soon enough. This will replace the 1 lakh health insurance scheme by the earlier DNK government. Take a look at these highlights this time. Out with the old and in with the new. The political game of one-upmanship in Tamil Nadu continues. The AIADMK government has raised the ceiling amount to rupees to 4 lakh rupees up from 1 lakh of the earlier DMK regime. Jayalalitha has also said that the government hospitals will be improved to facilitate better health care. The scheme will cover 950 treatments as against the 642 treatments under the scheme of the earlier regime. Uh, but the scheme will be temporarily useful. Temporarily it will be a, a very big relief for the poor. But these health insurance schemes, what they are telling us is, our society, our system is moving towards health care uh, system based on health insurance. That is not at all good. So we have to think of that. So first of all, the government should improve the basic sanitation, basic health care system of the public hospitals and medical college hospitals. Then the poor can get all the treatment free of course and they, can, they will get quality medical care. Some treatments may work only at the government hospitals. 
Jayalalitha has said that the government scheme will pay for follow-up treatments and will include children. Government hospital level, the government has given treatment. The treatment has been given, but it is not the case. They have been given a good treatment. But the patient has not been given a good treatment. It is not the case. The insurance scheme will be more beneficial and better for the poor patients who are benefited more than the previous ones. The new scheme with a better ceiling and covering more treatments is definitely a welcome step for people who cannot afford quality health care. However, strengthening of the public health systems is also the need of the hour. In Chennai with Peer Mohamed, Natasha for NDTV Hindu. Now let's just draw up a comparison for you in some uh, graphics soon to be passed. This new public health scheme will cover expenses of up to 4 lakh rupees, a cover for 4 years that is, and will include close to 950 treatments. Now this is in comparison to the 642 treatments offered in uh, Karunanidhi's regime in a scheme that offered a cover of 1 lakh rupees for 4 years to poor families. While Amma's scheme covers tests, surgical, non-surgical treatments, post-operative care and infant care. Karunanidhi's scheme, however, did not cover investigations for diagnosis for ailments. Not just that, this facility can be availed at not just at the uh, private hospitals, but also at the government hospitals. Now, moving on in a slew of cases that's come up in the past one month against the COO of Sun Pictures, Hansraj Saxena, there's one more case that has come up today. A film producer lodged a complaint against Saxena at the Kodambakam police station, alleging that he was threatened by him and got close to three and a half crores in connection with distribution rights. This was regarding the film Dhanushra starred in that was called Maple, and a case now has been registered. Mr. Saxena is lodged at the Pural prison in connection with two different cases. Moving on, the two political rivals Karunanidhi and Jayalalitha are at it again, this time over land grabbing issues. While former Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi wants the probe to begin from the time of the earlier AIA DMK's rule and not merely from 2006 when the DMK was at the helm, Jayalalitha is closely monitoring the police cells set up by her to examine claims and counterclaims in land grabbing cases. Walking the neutral ground in the politically charged field, police say. They will deal with land grabbers very strongly. Our crime correspondent Salim brings you this report. 70-year-old Kupusami is just one of the 1,500 people who have filed a complaint with the police in just 50 days. Kupusami, a retired secretary to the Home Department, had actually travelled to Chennai from Trichy following Jayalalitha's promise to those who lost their land to get it back. <laughs> Responding to the deluge, police say it's a top priority for them. The additional Director General of Police, Law and Order, says he is in the process of forming special cells in all districts and commissionerates to exclusively investigate complaints of land grabbing. In fact, the probe has got underway in one of the cells in Chennai. Land grabbing on and off, we do get uh, a few complaints, but uh, the last uh, month there has been a, a steep rise in the number of complaints uh, related to land grabbing. Police say vacant housing plots in areas like Velachari, Palikaranai, Madipakam and along the ECR and OMR stretches are soft targets for the grabbers. The special teams would conduct a detailed preliminary inquiry, record statements, verify the documents and send a report to the city commissioner. As far as Chennai city is concerned, one has to approach the police commissioner's office in Egmo. Police sources say if the monetary value of the land is less than 25 lakh rupees, local police stations will look into the complaints. If the monetary value of the land is more than 25 lakh rupees, the complaints will be forwarded to the land grabbing cell of the central crime branch for a detailed probe. In Chennai, Salim for NDTV Hindu. Moving on, the Madras High Court has uh, today directed the CBI to find out the source from which the city's police commissioner, J.K. Tripathi, had told the media last month that Satish Kumar's body did not have any external injuries. The father of the deceased, Naz, now uh, filed a fresh application asking the investigating agency to interrogate the inspector of the Tirumangalam police station as well as the top cop in the murder case. 
The division bench was told by the CBI that the need for inquiring the inspector does not arise now. The case has been posted for further hearing on the 18th of July. Now, superstar Rajni Kant uh, has, uh, brings you now uh, some good news. He is all set to come back after a good time of rest. He is likely to return to Chennai on Wednesday. The actor, who was undergoing treatment in Singapore, was discharged uh, last month. Reports suggest that his family is uh, back to Singapore and will return with him soon. But the date of his arrival has been kept a secret as the superstar's fans made throng the airport on his arrival. But Rajnikanth has been shooting for the Tamil period film Rana on uh, the 29th of April and that was when he complained of exhaustion. But ever since then, he has been in and out of different hospitals. He travelled to Singapore on the 28th of May later where he was admitted to the Mount Elizabeth Hospital. In some news of reshuffle in the state once again, the state-owned Tasmac now has a new managing director, Apurva Varma. Other bodies like the Milk Production and Dairy Development has a new commissioner, Mr. M. R. Mohan. Vibhu Nair now takes over as the new Industries Commissioner and the Director of Industries and Commerce. In the recent reshuffle, D. Uh, Vivekanandan has been appointed as the Secretary of the State Human Rights Commission. Pankaj Kumar Bansal is now the new project director of Tamil Nadu Health Systems Project. T.P. Rajesh is appointed as the new deputy secretary protocol within the public department. When we come back, it's a breath of fresh air for the good of small things at the new secretariat complex. More in just a bit.